Hello Erin, it's Tuesday, April 5th, and you didn't post a video yesterday. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you're thinking there. Anyway, I really just have like one thing to talk about today, and that's that they announced the um, casting of Gail and Peta for the Hunger Games movie. And I'm actually really surprised by it. Not because I, d I don't necessarily like the actors, but because they're, they cast really mainstream, which really surprised me because the girl, Jennifer Lawrence, who's playing Katniss, really isn't that mainstream. I mean, she was nominated for an Oscar, but that's pretty much it. That's all that she's done. And the, the kid, first of all, the kid that they cast to play PETA is, like, dark hair, like, didn't really fit the description, but that's okay. I can probably get over that. But he's like from Disney Channel and did all this, did like that stuff. And I guess he was in The Kids Are All Right, which I never saw, but it was good, I guess. And then the guy who is playing Gale is like this tall blonde guy who dated Miley Cyrus. And I don't really know what that's about. And he was in a really bad Miley Cyrus movie that I saw. So I kind of hope that goes better than... I expect it to. I mean, like, he fits the description of Gale pretty well because he's, like, a big guy. Like, his brother is an actor and his brother is playing Thor. So he's, like, a pretty, pretty big guy. But he, I don't know, like, he just doesn't seem like Gale to me. He, he's, he looks too pretty boy to be Gale. And now that I think about it, actually, the kid who plays what's his uh, name, Josh Hutcherson, who's playing PETA, also looks kind of pretty boy to me. But they haven't announced who's playing Hamish yet, and I think that's like one of the most important piece of casting besides Katniss would be who's playing Hamish. And um, I would, I mean, obviously I'd really, really like to see Robert Downey Jr. be Hamish because I think he'd be really good at that, but it'd feel like, for one, it'd be cruel to cast him as an alcoholic, and two, that's probably not going to happen just because he has so many other things that he's doing. So realistically, I would really like to see Michael C. Hall from Dexter play Hamish. And I haven't seen a lot of Dexter, but I've seen enough um, to know that Michael C. Hall would be really, really good as Hamish. And he's like, he's a phenomenal actor. And he just, I think he could pull off that whole attitude really, really well. And I think he'd be really good for that. Um, also, Kristen Chenoweth needs to play Effie Trinket because she's just, that's exactly who she is. Um, or Krista Bell, I think, would also be really good at that. They both have the same sort of, like, little tiny blonde person attitude of, like, just so much energy and, like, a little tiny person. Um, that's about all I have to talk about, except, so, I have this um, model, and, model car, and it's a 1956... Ford Thunderbird, and um, one thing that I um, really like is that it has California license plates, and they're California gold plates too. I don't know if you can see that, but I, I really like that, and the uh, the tags on it are expire in 1957. Also, this little spare tire like comes out, um, which I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it, I, it um, entertains me. So I've been popping that in and out as I've been watching Angel, which Doyle just died and I'm kind of depressed because it was really sad. Um, but it was, it was a good episode. I think I'm, I'm starting to like it more. It took me a while to get into it, but like Buffy did too, but I really liked Buffy. Um, that's all I have to do. You should like maybe post a video. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Bye.